Here's Anthony and Mike with an AMI This Week Shortcut. Hey Mike, do you agree with the saying, dogs are a person's best friend? I absolutely do. I'd even take it a step further and say they're family. They are family, just like the two amazing guide dogs that work with us. Alan and Francis, they are members of the ATW family. 100%. And did you know that dogs can actually volunteer too? Volunteer? That's right, volunteering by taking a step in saving another dog's life by giving blood to the Canadian Animal Blood Bank. I've never heard of that. That's incredible. It really is, and I feel like most people don't know about that, which is why Ottawa's Shelby Travers and her guide dog, Francis, traveled to Kingston, Ontario to learn more about the Canadian Animal Blood Bank and their life-saving efforts. Okay, let's go, girly. Beckett, a six-year-old Newfoundland dog, is lucky to be alive. About nine months ago, Beckett needed a blood transfusion after losing blood during a C-section, giving birth to nine puppies. Beckett's owner, Sasha Latimer, describes how she felt at the time of the transfusion. I was scared. Beckett almost died. There's a different bond that dogs and owners have. However, being a vet tech herself, Sasha knew that Beckett was in good hands. Beckett was actually able to receive blood from a donation from another dog, exactly like a human blood donation. Mary Robinson is the donor recruitment director for the Canadian Animal Blood Bank. Dogs, just like people, need emergency blood transfusions. Uh, it could be anything from, say, a hit by car to help in cancer treatment. So anything you can think of that a human would need a blood transfusion for, a dog needs exactly the same thing. And people's reaction to dogs being able to donate blood? A lot of them are surprised, um, and then some of them go, hmm. But then a lot of them are like, wow, well, how, do, how do I do this? How do I get, to get my dog to sign up? The Canadian Animal Blood Bank is an organization dedicated to providing blood products to animals who require it as part of their health care. Starting off small with just a few donations per month, they have become one of the leading organizations who collect and distribute blood products all across Canada. We have uh, locations in Moncton, University of Montreal. Uh, there's about 15 vet clinics here in Ontario that support us. Uh, we have about 30 in Winnipeg and surrounding area. And Calgary and Edmonton, there's about 10 clinics in those areas as well. While they do take donations from different animals, such as horses, cattle, and cats, dogs make up the vast majority. The reason for this is quite simple. It is relatively easy for dogs to donate blood. So it's pretty straightforward and only takes about 20 minutes of your time. We actually do a jugular collection. We choose the jugular vein because it's safe and it's, uh, it's very fast as well. A lot of dogs do not like to lie still for a long period of time. <laughs> However, not all dogs are eligible to donate blood. They need to be a minimum of 55 pounds, healthy, up to date on vaccinations, and then one to eight years of age to start donating. It just so happens that my guide dog Francis meets those qualifications. Good girl. Okay, lay down. I was able to give blood for the first time a while ago, and I thought it would be great if Francis could do the same. At the clinic, Francis received her initial test and settles in nicely to donate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she can, if you're good holding her neck, she yeah. can sit up. If she'd oh, rather good that, girl. you just need to hold her good neck. Job. If a dog becomes uncomfortable during a donation, they will stop the process immediately. However, 450 grams of blood is usually collected from a dog meeting the minimum weight requirement. Also like humans, dogs have different blood types. 75% of your dogs are DEA1 positive, and that's like a type A. Uh, they can get blood from any dog, but only 25% is DEA1 negative. And it's like a type O, they're uni considered universal, so they can give blood to any dog, but only receive from another DEA1 negative dog. She's good, she's 64, so that's it. I was super happy to hear that Francis is a universal blood type, just like me. She is a universal donor. <laughs> One collection of blood can save up to three dogs' lives, so I'm so proud of Francis for donating. She was a total champ. Her blood will be packaged into different products. We actually make all the same products as they do on the human side as well. So it's collected and processed um, into different components. Not only has Beckett received blood, she has also donated and did so before Francis. Oh my goodness. Good girl. Yay! Good, girl. Good job, you want to cheat? If one collection can save three lives, then Beckett has saved 48. 
Beckett's donated um, a total of 16 times. Wow, not only is that a lot of blood donations, but that's a lot of dogs' lives being saved. Donations aside, being able to spend time at home with Beckett is a reward that Sasha was grateful for, because when the time came for Beckett to receive blood to save her life, it was there. I knew that it would be a fair, fairly good odds for her. I knew that, you know, if we could successfully transfuse the blood, that she would, you know, come around. It was just getting through that, which was difficult. Um, and it's stressful. I totally feel for, um, you know, pet owners in that situation. But to know that there is blood out there that is accessible to owners and in vet clinics to save lives, it's, it, it makes a difference. Okay, how nervous do you think Shelby was while Francis was donating? I'm sure she had a few nerves going into it. I know I did, but Francis was a champ and rocked it. <laughs> she sure did. And how can you not be compelled to donate after hearing Sasha and Beckett's touching story? Now, if you're interested in your furry friend donating or you just want to learn more about the process, visit www.canadianimalbloodbank.ca.